Hey, Patricia, how are you today? I'm great, thank you for calling. Yes, I see you have an appointment this Thursday at 12. You can ball me back this way. We'll be in room 16. Why don't you have a seat? Get comfortable. So, is there anything going on in your mouth that I should know about? Any pain, sensitivities? No, nothing like that. Just here for a regular cleaning. <laughs> wow. Good on you for keeping up with it. For sure. <laughs> I need these things. <laughs> All right. So, let me just check you out before you're cleaning. Oh, this is up way too high. So no history of cavities, no sensitivities. Uh, no, never anything like that. All right, so let's have a little look see. Oh, I just love how big your mouth is. I feel like I could just fit inside. <laughs> I know, I know. There's nothing more uncomfortable than going to the dentist. It's such a sensitive private area. It's free for you to run whenever you feel like it, but only a select few outsiders ever get access to it. I want to thank you. This is a privilege. <laughs> Nandi! Were you telling the truth when you said you didn't have any pain? Was that a lie? Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I have like a, a slight thing in my gums, but that... But... It is my honor to present to you your very first cavity! We're gonna have to operate. But first, something to help with the pain. I know exactly what you need. Oh, Nundy, you're rotting from the inside out. They're gonna have to go.
Open up, Nandi. Time to show the world what you've been hiding. All of your choices have led you to this moment. It's up to you to decide what to do next. Hey, what's good? <laughs> I just had the craziest dream about you. Oh yeah? What happened? Oh, you were saying all this weird stuff and pulling my teeth out. Stop. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was kind of sexy too. I mean, you're in this nurse outfit and touching all over me and shit. Oh, you had a sex dream about me. No, it was a fucking nightmare. You were so fucking scary, dude. What'd you do last night? <sighs> I lost my fucking mind. Oh, Reese, you should have seen me last night. Oh, I, I dropped like three tabs at some rave. You know, I totally blacked out. I forgot who I was. Next thing I know, I'm blowing coke at some mansion in the hills with this crazy ass pool. I mean, I mean, I don't even remember how I got there. <laughs> I literally don't even know how I'm functioning right now. Yeah, I mean, I probably didn't get home till like six. Oh my God, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, what'd you get into? Nothing like that. Just self-care, put on some meditations, just journeying with my medicine. I aspire to be on your level of safety. <laughs> mm. So while we're on the topic... Mm, I thought so. Can I come by and scoop another G of the Kizza? <laughs> yes, you may. Um, just give me like an hour. I'm uh, still getting adjusted to the day. I got you, baby. I'll see you later. Bye.
This is your boy, Psychedelic Utilizer 33, coming back at you. Looking on a ketamine, motherfucking recap experience. Now, as you know, I got all the tips and tricks when it comes to ketamine usage, and lately I realized that one of the biggest and most effective ways to maximize your high for the most fire sessions possible is intramuscular use of ketamine. It's fucking amazing. Now, before we get into this, do you know, you know what I'm saying? I am not a doctor. I went to medical school for three days and dropped out to get a fucking artist. But uh, last time we did 100 milligrams, I was pretty tired, not gonna lie. It was, you know, it had me, you know. But this time, we're doing 200 milligrams. So smash that motherfucking like button. Boy! Yo! Jake, what's good, baby? Oh, yo, you just get back from the gym? Nice. Yeah, I gotta go with you sometime. <laughs> yeah, bro, you should. Uh, you got a little something. Ha, ha. <laughs> Thanks. You know it's the middle of the day, right? Oh, dude, relax. It's the weekend. All right, if I was sipping on mimosas right now, you wouldn't think anything of it. Yeah, probably not. All right, I'm gonna take a shower. Catch ya. Yo, dude! Yo, you were in my dream last night. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> I bet. From within, so divine and evangelical, it ain't for like a sin. I drew nectar from your skin, so sweet that I'm up thinking if you safe and what you chose to eat. I keep debating, should I wait or should I double tax you? Pulling at my heartstrings, I'm staring at the way you find art like a masterpiece. In many different ways, you got permission, you can master me. Days we spent together past slow, we were chasing waterfalls on the north side. You took me down low to your coastline, we were whipping through the roads all across time. Rooftop bars on the west side And I don't want to be without you Don't feel like I'll be without you Flesh so sweet, come fill my cup, girl Need you here inside my world But until then, can I confess to you I miss that caress from you, girl, and I miss that bless on you. So after getting to know the owner of the gallery, she took a chance on me. I'm working a majority of her administrative work, and next month, she's letting me curate my first show. Dude, that's fucking awesome! Yeah, I'm so proud of you for making moves. Seriously, that's, that's dope. I mean, this has to be a great way to show off some of your own work, right? Oh, I'm definitely gonna sneak a few of my pieces in there. But honestly, it's about creating a vibe, gathering like-minded people, showcasing talent that doesn't come from a crazy privileged background. That's what does it for me. Painting's always gonna be a huge part of my life, but I've always dreamt of owning my own gallery. For the first time, I feel like it's actually achievable. It feels good. Mm -hmm. I'm so <sighs> proud of him. Yeah, it's, you're killing it. I mean, it's, it's inspiring. Devin is the shit. And these last few months since he moved in have been amazing. I'm hoping some of his drive will rub off on me soon. What about you, Nandi? Hey, you were telling me about the series you're working on. Something like an edgy modern friends. How's that going? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I sort of have some things on pause as far as writing goes. It, it, it's, it's still in the works. It's, it's going to happen, but you know. Still serving tables during the week. You know, meeting people from all walks of life. Getting into all sorts of crazy shit on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, I'm, I'm really just focusing on making connections, getting experience, and ultimately inspiration for my work. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You write what you know. <sighs> <sighs> I 
I feel like I'm kind of in a similar place right now, you know, taking things in, like figuring out what it is I want to do. Like, I have a camera, know how to use it. I know I'm interested in film. It's just figuring out what it is I want to create. <laughs> Reese, we should like make something. We should make something. We should, I'll write it, you'll film it. We, we know a bunch of people who would be down to act. We could make something dope. I'm so down. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no, I'm good. I work a show tonight. Oh, responsible. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I think y'all are doing this shit way too much. This can't just be this thing you're casually doing. Dude, come on, we did pay like, Two weeks ago, we were having a blast. I, I mean, if I'm trying to have fun and go out for the night and I'm not trying to drink, then yeah, it's fun. I just don't think that you should be doing this all the time. It can't be good for you. I was reading a bunch of research trials uh, for ketamine and people have been using it for depression, anxiety. PTSD, pain relief. I mean, this is my medicine. I don't see that as any different than pharmaceuticals. There's just a stigma surrounding it. Listen, you guys know I'm a huge advocate for psychedelic medicine. I, th I think it has a ton of potential for treating mental health. And honestly, if you wanna go out and have a fun night, or you wanna go on this inner journey or whatever, I think you guys should be allowed to do that too. Exactly. I mean, with something like uh, alcohol. But that does not mean that there is zero potential for abuse. Psychedelics are becoming this mainstream topic, which is amazing. I think we need to be open and honest. I think you need to use it in a way where it is safe. Girl. <laughs> I loved that. Really, I did. I love how much you care. And I agree with you. People need to be safe. That's why I test all my shit. Fentanyl is being found in everything these days. It's not just opioids. It's scary and it's serious. I know this. That's why I'm safe. Damn it. What's wrong? My insulin levels are going insane right now. <laughs> I swear this happens every time I drink your fucking tea. <laughs> What's going on? I'm diabetic. He has to inject insulin like all the time. Honestly, I kind of like it. I think it's all like medical or cool or whatever. She is so weird. I'm over here dying of low blood sugar. She's all up in my face trying to watch. Let me do it. Hell no. Please, you let me before. Yeah, before you were sober. There's no way in hell I'm letting you get near me this time. Well, let us watch. None of you wants to see it too. I'm getting my stuff and I'll be right back. Relax. <laughs> you good? <laughs> <laughs> and done. <laughs> Nothing. Huh. Yeah, that, that didn't seem too freaky. Pretty easy stuff. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever thought about taking ketamine like that? <laughs> no, I, well, I, I say that because they typically do that in the um, clinical settings. It, it, it's all done through like a, um, like an IV. Uh, so you don't have to do as much because the effect's pretty strong. And if you ask me, actually, I think that's uh, a lot better for you considering you don't have to shove you know, shit up your nose fucking up with your septum and all, so. <laughs> Come on, Reese, you, you're telling me you never thought about that? Huh? I mean, being into watching him do all that stuff? I mean, come on. Uh, um. <laughs> I, I think I could be open to it. Um, I mean, going to a Academine Research Center and uh, working with a, a therapist, but um, uh, I feel like there's a lot that could go wrong. Um, I'm comfortable where I'm at.
No, yeah, no, that's that's yeah. I, I was just saying, I was I was reading a bunch of stuff. It sounded interesting. For sure. Uh, all right. I guess I'll just head out then. Oh, hey, um, can I get that? Oh, yeah. What are you up to tonight? Uh, honestly, I might just take it easy. Chill after last night. Self-care type of thing. <laughs> you? Same. Just chilling. Cool. Um, can I use your bathroom real quick? Oh, yeah. That's right back there. Toilet paper. I need help. Oh my god, there's someone under the sink. I'm not coming in there. Okay.
fucking dead! I was this close to calling the ambulance! What the fuck is this shit? Should probably drink this. What are you doing? It's like every time I see you, you're getting fucked up. On a bunch of different types of drugs or recovering from that. You're shooting up now, now you just do heroin? I mean. Why? Why would you want to do something like that? Why would you even need to? I don't know. I've been reading about other people's experiences with ketamine. To me, it just sounded cool. Cool? Do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? You're missing your fucking teeth, dude! Yeah, you're so fucking cool. So what? Because you never got laid in college? Here's SHUT THE FUCK UP! <sighs> I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your life. But this shit isn't you. I don't know why you decided that it is. When we first moved out here, you had so much passion, so much belief in yourself, in your poetry, in your stories. I was jealous of you. I really was. I wanted to be like that. You're freaking me out. I don't know what you're chasing, but I know it's not meant for you. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go for a walk. Flush your shit, sorry.
I don't like what I've become. I feel dizzy, I feel numb. I feel stressed and I feel strained. I feel weak and I feel strange. Out of place I thought I was. Scratch an itch, a fix because. I'm ashamed of who I am. I open up with pen in hand. All I hear is sirens out my window and Voice inside my ears start to get shinto and My mind be playing games Don't wanna control you, no Nintendo screw the claim I just want you Girl I just want you girl Here inside my world